Everyone, welcome back to Thumb FPV. Now today I got a video to go over. This is the Snapmaker 2.0 G code commands. Kind of running in with this a little bit late, but better late than never. So let's check this out. First two codes, GO and G1, are your linear movement, which will put the machine in any direction in a straight line. The next set of codes for this is G2 and G3. This will control your arc movement. This is for your radiuses and your diameters. The next command here is G4. This is your stop command. This will immediately stop your machine and everything that it is doing. Next code we have here, G20. This is used to set the machine's measurement increments into inches. The next code, G21, is used to set the machine into metric measurements. The next code we have here is G28. This is automatic return to origin. Now, this is not automatic return to home. This is to origin. You have to have this set up and the machine will return to the point that you set the origin for it to be. Next code that you may be familiar with and already know about, G29, is no longer effective on Snapmaker 2. This has been changed to G1029. This is the G-code operation for auto leveling on the Snapmaker 2. G30, this is specified point Z probe. We're doing your auto leveling. So if you have your 3x3, 4x4, 5x5 coordinate system set up for doing your auto leveling, you could change that, possibly make your own. These are the points that are specified by the code G30. Next code G38.2, G38.3. This is probing towards a target and stops on contact uh, for 38.2 signaling an error if it reaches the target positioning without triggering the probe for g38.3 probes towards the target and stops on contact no error is given if it fails to trigger the probe when the g53 code is given this will set as machine coordinate system codes g53 through g59 are given to select your coordinate system there's variables for that so depending on what you're doing pick which one applies to you the G90 code is given to put the machine in absolute coordinate mode. G91 code is given to put the machine in a relative coordinate mode. And G code 92 is given to set the work origin. Now, this is not a complete list of the codes for this machine by any means. Uh, it's just something to give you guys a heads up, something to play with if you wanted to. Um, I am going to have more of these released here shortly. Uh, but I just wanted to get this out there, something you wanted to play with, try it out, whatever, and something for you to watch. So thank you for tuning in. This is Thumb Hobby. I'll have another video up soon. Light, light.